Oh, I think it's so appropriate that today we're saying let a little child leave them and to have a special blessing at this time. So thanks, Kate and Glenn, for sharing this special day in this way. And um, we're going to be blessing the water in just a few moments. And um, the family brought some water in today. And uh, our church has some water that we shared. And then we, Deb and I, and brought some water back from the Holy Land. So we have three forms of water mixed together to remind us the community of God, the family of God, as well as God's family in terms of the Jordan River where Jesus was baptized. And so these three waters come together as we bless it this day. Gracious and loving God, we pray a blessing over this water at this time. May you pour your Holy Spirit upon it as a reminder of how you used water in the past. You used water in the time of creation to separate the water from the land and you said it was good. Used in the time of Noah for as a symbol of repentance and cleansing. Used it during the time of Moses as a symbol of deliverance when you brought them from slavery out of Egypt. And use it in the time of Joshua as they entered into the promised land through that Jordan River. In that same Jordan River, Jesus himself was baptized as a reminder of your love and grace. So we pray for that blessing this day upon this water. That it may be received as a power of the Holy Spirit. It may be an outward and visible sign of your inward and spiritual presence. We pray for this in your holy name. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. So on behalf of the church, I ask you this day, do you believe in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Put your whole trust in his grace, which is open to persons of all ages, nations, and races. Please respond, we do. We do. And do you promise to raise this child in the faith? Yes. We do. All right. And what name do you give this child this day? Josie Caroline Brewstow. Pastor Deb. Oh, I hate to wake her. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we so are. calm. Yeah. Hi, honey. Josie Caroline Brewster, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. May God bless you and keep you forevermore. That's yes. the Holy Spirit. There we go. It is. <laughs> Mom worked so hard to get her back to sleep, baby. Aww. Let's welcome the newest member of the body of Christ. Explain the tradition and I'm going to As, um... The tradition we have is Holly will be actually taking, I think you can turn me back up there, thank you. Um, Holly will be taking, um, <laughs> oh, poor guy. Yeah, Josie out in the congregation. We do this as a reminder that we are making this promise as we share our congregational pledge, which is on the screen. Please read it along together. With God's help, we will so order our lives after the example of Christ that this child, surrounded by steadfast love, may be established in the faith and confirmed and strengthened in the way that leads to life eternal. You have to bring the baby back, though. <laughs> we do make that pledge, but we, we promise to bring the baby back. So let's welcome the newest member in the body of Christ. As Pastor Deb mentioned, um, we have a special gift for you of God's word, and so Holly will make sure you get that. And that's again as a reminder that as a church, we want you to continue to, to lift up God's word in your child's life. Please stand as we receive God's blessing. And